Hold on to your hats, because China has just pulled off a game-changing move that could leave. The United States scratching its head. In a bold and unexpected move, China has surged ahead. With a $410 billion investment in chip technology, and it's already starting to shake up the global tech market. Now, if you're thinking, wait, didn't the US just slap a bunch of sanctions on China's semiconductor industry to try and hold them back? Well, news flash, those sanctions? They're looking more and more useless by the day. In fact, this massive push from China to boost its own chip-making capabilities could have huge consequences, not just for the tech world but for the entire global economy. Let's break down what this all means and how China just took the reins of the semiconductor race, leaving the US in its dust. So, what exactly does a $410 billion investment in the semiconductor sector look like? Well, it's a lot more than just a few shiny new factories. China is investing in cutting-edge technology that will allow it to produce some of the world's most advanced chips, chips that power everything. From smartphones and computers to the autonomous vehicles of the future. This isn't just about keeping up with the rest of the world. It's about creating a self-sufficient chip industry that can rival the likes of Intel, Nvidia, and TSMC. With this level of funding, China is positioning itself to not just become a leader in semiconductor manufacturing, but also to diversify its supply chain. The days of China relying on Western nations for advanced semiconductor technology are over. This is the new frontier. As China pushes further into this arena, it also reduces its dependence on external sources, which is crucial as countries like the US continue to attempt to curb its tech ambitions with sanctions and trade barriers. Now, let's talk about the US sanctions and whether they've actually done anything to stop China's tech rise. For a while, Washington has been adamant about preventing China from developing its own cutting-edge semiconductor capabilities. The US has restricted access to critical chip-making technologies, even blocking major players like Nvidia and Intel from selling their high-end products to China. These actions were meant to slow down China's progress and keep American companies ahead in the global race. However, China's $410 billion gamble is starting to make those efforts look increasingly irrelevant. Despite the restrictions, China is investing heavily in research and development, and it's already starting to build homegrown alternatives. China's commitment to innovation in this area means that, in the long run, these sanctions might be more of a temporary obstacle than a true barrier. China's Semiconductor Industry is growing at such a fast pace that these measures may have little effect on the overall outcome. In fact, they might even drive China to become more self-reliant, which could have massive consequences for global tech markets in the years to come. So, what happens now that China is powering forward with its semiconductor industry? Well, to put it simply, everything could change. The global tech landscape is going to look very different. In the next decade, for one, China's increased ability to produce high-end chips will challenge the dominance of American firms in this space. If China can match or even surpass US chip makers in terms of both quality and quantity, we could see a huge shift in global supply chains. Tech companies worldwide will have to rethink where they get their chips, and some may even begin to prefer domestic Chinese chips over traditional suppliers from the US and Taiwan. This could affect not only chip makers but also the entire supply chain for products like smartphones, laptops, and gaming consoles. And let's not forget the political implications. With a self-sufficient semiconductor industry, China would no longer have to rely on the US for its high-tech needs reducing the effectiveness of any future sanctions. In short, China's $410 billion investment could change everything from the way tech companies do business to the balance of global power. One of the most fascinating aspects of this development is the shift in power it represents. For years, the US has been seen as the leader in innovation and technology development, with 
companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Google dominating the global stage. But as China pours billions into its chip industry, it's positioning itself as a formidable rival to the US in the tech space. This isn't just about chips, it's about the future of technology itself. With the ability to produce cutting-edge semiconductors, China could become a hub for the next generation of tech. Think about it. The companies that control chip production will control much of the global tech economy. So, as China's semiconductor industry expands, it's not just competing with US companies, it's redefining the global tech landscape. As this power shift continues, we could see a more multipolar tech world where China holds more influence and the US might have to rethink its strategy for maintaining leadership in tech innovation. Looking ahead, the big question is how the US and China will navigate this growing divide in the tech industry. While the US has tried to leverage sanctions to keep China in check, the reality is that China is showing it can innovate on its own. As the two largest economies in the world battle it out for supremacy in the tech space, we're going to see a lot more tension. The future of tech could very well become a two-tiered system, with one side largely dominated by US-led firms and the other by China's rapidly advancing industries. For consumers, this could mean new, exciting innovations as competition heats up. For governments, it may result in more economic and political strategies being used to control the flow of tech products and intellectual property. Whether this will lead to a new Cold War in tech or a peaceful coexistence remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure, China's $410 billion move is the opening salvo in a long-term battle for dominance over the world's most important resource, technology. China's multi-billion dollar investment is also a wake-up call for the US. When we talk about the US as a tech powerhouse, it's important to remember that while it dominates certain sectors, it hasn't been able to maintain control over the semiconductor industry in the same way. The US may still have giants like Intel and Nvidia, but these companies are facing increasing competition from both China and other nations in the Asia-Pacific region. China's aggressive investment in semiconductor development shows that the US can no longer take its technological superiority for granted. This surge could lead to recalculations on Capitol Hill, possibly resulting in new policies designed to counter China's growing influence in tech. The US might need to rethink its approach to global tech competition if it wants to maintain its leadership role in future innovations. In the coming years, this might force a new wave of investments back into the American tech sector or, at the very least, push for more stringent measures to ensure that US companies don't lose ground. As China accelerates its push into chip manufacturing, we can expect a ripple effect across the global supply chain. Major tech companies that have relied heavily on Chinese-made chips may find themselves facing new challenges. This surge might prompt countries that have been dependent on China for chips to reconsider their options. Taiwan, home to TSMC, and South Korea, with Samsung's chip production, might now find themselves in direct competition with China. And that's just the start. The knock-on effects could also be felt by nations in Europe and even emerging markets that rely on China's tech for their own economic growth. However, while the shift is happening, it could take a few years for China to fully capture market share and reach the level of sophistication of Western counterparts. But one thing is clear, China's ambition is real, and it's coming with the intent to take over the industry. The big question now is whether China can maintain this momentum. While $410 billion is no small amount of money, and it's certainly a bold statement, the path ahead is still fraught with challenges. One of the biggest hurdles China faces is that creating world-class chips requires not only financial investment but also high-end talent, cutting-edge equipment, and a global ecosystem of suppliers and partners. While China is well on its way to building these capabilities, there's no guarantee that the country will be able to outpace the US in every 
aspect of semiconductor innovation, the future of tech, and the US-China relationship has never looked more uncertain. Stay tuned, because this battle is far from over, and the next few years could completely redefine the way we think about technology and global power.